So before we really get started, before we really get started with the podcast, I have a few. I wanted to start with a few quick hits. Okay. Quick hits. Just some things I wanted to mention in the beginning of the podcast that I didn't write into the podcast and that I I didn't want to spend too much time on. Number one, there was a WWE pay-per-view this afternoon. This afternoon, okay. Yeah, because uh, Saudi Arabia is changing. Like uh, the first, they just allowed the first ever American movie theater chain to open in Saudi Arabia ever. Yeah. An AMC theater opened in Saudi Arabia. Not only that, but they were allowed to show an American movie. It's the first time in Saudi Arabia that an American movie was shown in, in 40 years. Black Panther. It was oh, Black yeah. Panther. Really? Okay. And it's such a big deal that like that, that like sense. government people are there and like like politicians are there in like their finest outfits to go see Black Panthers. It's so you know, things are, are slowly but surely changing. If a woman drives a car, she will no longer be immediately shot in the vagina. That's, so that's, that's another, nice. That's nice. Fine. That's a, so a, another sign of Saudi Arabia slowly but surely changing. Uh, the WWE was allowed to have their first ever live event. It was a five-hour pay-per-view, and it happened uh, at noon, our time. Really weird Yeah. that a pay-per-view for the first time ever occurred at noon on a Friday. But yeah, it was interesting. It was five hours long. It featured a number of people coming back. And one weird thing about it is the fact that because again, because this is still Saudi Arabia, it was a five hour long pay per view that featured no female wrestlers. Okay. Because you can't have that. Still, it's still Saudi Arabia, you yeah. know? <laughs> you can't yeah, have they, a woman uh, nearly naked jumping off the top rope. And they have the glowy orb, so I, I would be yeah. careful. Yeah. So I watched some of that. That was interesting. It was weird. It was a lot like a WWE pay per view, except. <laughs> The audience wasn't filled with a bunch of 30-year-old assholes who were ready to hate everything. Yes. It was weird. It's a, it was a pay-per-view, but everyone in the audience was happy to be there. It's like, wow, that's weird. I expected a bunch of like 20- and 30-year-old uh, guys who are ready to boo everything and start throwing things. But no, it, it, yeah, so that happened. That was weird. Number two. Do you remember Yahweh Rules 2? Yes. Uh, how can I forget? The guy who had his Yahweh own... Rules 2. Yeah. The guy who had his own YouTube page from Oklahoma City who was putting posters all over Oklahoma warning about demon clones and transsexual bodies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all uh, gay Donnie. people are actually filled with demons and they need to be stopped. Anyway, Donnie his YouTube... is a woman. Yeah, his YouTube page is gone now. His YouTube page is gone, 100% deleted. I have no idea why, but all I can think of is, wow, uh, who would have thought that putting your own personal home phone number in every single video you post on YouTube, who would have thought that was a bad idea? (laughs) I thought, that's a winner. That's a winning idea, but apparently that's bad. So, uh, farewell Yahweh rules too. I really missed him and his craziness. I had to delete my my YouTube playlist, Oklahoma Crazy 2018. So, that will be missed. That's number two. Number three, I'm in the middle of a huge anxiety attack, and it's all YouTube's fault. Okay, what do they do now? Uh, so, usually, when a big movie comes out, I try and spoil it for myself. Not yeah. sure why, but I always try and figure out like like the the twist ending to a film, the ending to a film. Sometimes it just makes me feel better. I I knew about the like I knew the 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 ending of Black Panther before I went to go see Black Panther and and I've just been doing this for a while spoiling movies for myself. But when it came time for Avengers, I said, no, I, I, I put my foot down, drew a line in the sand, other things. I, and I said, no, I'm not spoiling this. I even went so far as to go on Facebook and start snoozing people. You can snooze people. If you don't want to unfriend someone, 
but you don't want to hear any of their shit, you can you can just shut someone up for thirty days. You can you can just snooze them nice. for thirty days. I didn't know that. And I've been doing that for people. I've been doing that for some Republicans that I just don't want to unfriend. Because in order to continue being a Republican in our modern day, you really have to do some crazy gymnastics, mental gymnastics. Yeah. And I'm I'm just no. I'm not okay with that. You don't necessarily have to do some crazy gymnastics to to continue to remain a Republican. You have to do those in order to be a Republican who supports. Yeah, Trump. in order to be a Republican who supports Trump. Yeah. I can't believe that President Clinton has had an extramarital affair. He needs to be removed from the presidency. Oh, what year is it? 2018? Well, the president's extramarital affair is none of our business. <laughs> that's, that's what Republicans who support the president are doing now. So I've been so I went on a snooze Fest. a snooze a palooza. Snoozing people who are Facebook friends of mine who I thought might ruin Avengers for me. Yeah. And to show you how serious I am with this, I will not hear from my brother for the next 27 days. Mm, uh, I'm going to go nice on that. Yeah. Yeah, because if anyone was going to spoil it for me, he was like the main suspect. And, and your brother's so a bit I, of a I, jackhole I, anyway, so. Yeah. So I, I, I went on a snooze, snooze a palooza, snoozing people, and, and, and I've just been ready. And I was picking up Amber from school, and I was scrolling through YouTube, and apparently some jackass recorded a bootleg of Avengers Infinity War and posted the end Ugh. scene on YouTube. And it popped up on my feed as something you might be interested in, Steve. And it's this grainy video, and it says, Infinity War ending parentheses, two words parentheses. I'm not saying what those two words were, but I'm just really pissed off now. Yeah. You know? I hey, don't you... blame you. I like, got an Infinity War spoiler. Uh, don't give it to me. Batman dies. Yeah. <laughs> ben Affleck is sad. <laughs> oh, you know who I heard was in it? That one uh, night show host, what is his name? Jimmy Kimmel? Fallon? Kimmel. How many Jimmy's? One of the Jimmy's. One of the Jimmy's is in it. I saw Jimmy it. Jones? Jimmy Jones? I heard Jones. Jimmy Jones is in it. Yeah, they're they're fast. I heard and that Jimmy James. Food, huh? Jimmy James is in it. He's the guy who ran news radio. So I'm just I, I'm not in a good headspace. That happened an hour ago and I'm still pissed off about it. Well, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I don't, right. I don't blame you. I, I normally don't much care about spoilers either way, much much like yourself. But yeah, this one's a little different because we've spent a lot of years building up to this. Yeah, yeah, it's a big, big ass deal for me. Going to see it tomorrow night. Don't fuck this up for me. 